Good day. Welcome to Partakers Friday Prayers on Friday the 5th of August 2011. Let's pray together. Father, as we commence, let our hearts and minds be right before you. We thank you for your Son, Jesus, and it's in his name we offer you these praises, prayers and petitions in the power of the Holy Spirit who lives inside those who are your children. Amen. Let's now have a Bible reading, a psalm of praise. It's Psalm 113, and our reader today is Sharona. So it's over to you, Sharona. Psalm 113. Praise the Lord. Praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Let the name of the Lord be praised, both now and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to the place where it sets, the name of the Lord is to be praised. The Lord is exalted over all the nations, his glory above the heavens. Who is like the Lord our God, the one who sits enthroned on high, who stoops down to look on the heavens and the earth? He raises the poor from the dust and lifts the needy from the ash heap. He seats them with princes, with the princes of their people. He settles the barren woman in her home as a happy mother of children. Praise the Lord. Thanks, Sharona. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Christ has risen. The Spirit has come. Praise you, O God. Amen. Now let's have a short time where you can offer your own praise and thanks to God for things that are on your own mind and heart. If for some reason words are failing you, simply pray, Lord God, I lift up thanks and praise to you alone. Hallelujah. Father, accept these praises as sweet-smelling perfume. Amen. Now we pray for this world. We lift to you once more, Father, the people affected by the, the drought in the Horn of Africa. How can we not look at the scenes coming to our eyes without compassion? Those people fleeing drought, famine and conflict. Help those people, Father, in ways which only you can achieve. Fire the imagination of people to solve these ongoing problems. Enlighten people to give generously, to share and to be looking to the interests of others. Father, help the aid being sent to reach the destination instead of being stopped by insurgents and warmongers. Father, be the strength for all those who are grieving and mourning the loss of loved ones. Father, we pray that those in despair will be helped, and where there is darkness there will be light. May justice and peace come to places where injustice, strife and conflict currently reign. Where there is chaos, bring order. Where there is hatred, may love be sown. We pray that in areas of need following natural disasters, that aid will get through and infrastructure rebuilt. Lord, in your mercy, hear these prayers of your children. Amen. We come now to praying for the needs of individuals. Father, we lift these people before you. Kath, Elsie, Ian, Billy, Karen and Adam, David... Ruth, Kathy, Lynn, Zachary, Patty and Amanda. O oh, great God, our provider, our healer, we ask for a healing touch and for wisdom for the medical staff treating them. Now, Father, we lift before you all those facing challenging situations such as loneliness, confinement at home, geographical isolation, lack of employment, health issues and financial pressures. O oh, Father, please meet their needs in whatever challenging situation is being faced, particularly for C and her daughter, and we put ourselves in your hands to help meet those needs where we can. 
And Father, we also pray that you will give strength to the weak, particularly for Sarah. We ask these things, our Father God, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, and in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We now pray for church services around the world this weekend. Our Father God, we lift before you all those who are preaching, leading, serving, and participating in church services around the world this weekend, both up front and in the congregation. We ask that the Holy Spirit would guide their minds and that the worship would be in spirit and in truth, and that your word is faithfully preached. For those in countries where to meet other Christians is illegal or not condoned by the government, we ask that you continue to strengthen, guide, uplift and grow them. Let them know through your spirit, the spirit that lives within all believers, that we are praying for them. Amen. Now there will be a short time of prayer where you can give to God things that are on your own mind and heart. And if, for some reason, words are failing you, then pray this short prayer based on Psalm 40. O God, help and deliver me from this pit, for I am poor and needy. Let's continue praying. Father, we pray that your love will take over our lives. We also pray that we would follow you faithfully, live lives obedient to you, and give praise to you alone in all circumstances we face. Lord, in your mercy, hear these prayers of your children. Amen. And now as we close, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us on Partaker's Friday Prayers.